Super Link Nico sent a message. Okay. So we've been in our last. Do you see this? Hold up, how you go over? Oh, there you go. Hunter, you there? This is Nico, in case you want to run down. You answered. Getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here. And despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Aw, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So... If you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff. Or quasi-human. <laughs> you're a midnight sun now. One of us. Nico, I was just hydrobombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I uh, keep seeing Wanda. She. Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of Asia Winters a little? Room upgrades, huh? Hey, you could customize the room. Hmm. Come on, you already knew. Yeah, let him let him get some more sleep. Yeah. Okay, so you could change the colors. I didn't know that. It's cool for right now. Okay, you can also change yourself. Wonder can Charlie come on adventures with us later? So Dr. Faustus tried to drop a warehouse on you? Ugh, that guy is so lame. Talk about a prototypical follower. Join a hangout? I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. Lilith gave birth to me, but Caretaker was my true mother. 
Right, so your adoptive mom raised you to kill your birth mom. <laughs> You'll fit in perfectly. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Uh, wait, what? Crystal ball? Okay. I really needed that. Of the activity class one conversation. Okay, we're at a swimsuit. Epic Abby outfit. Hmm. So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries. I am not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The Staff of One interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the Staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. I had some questions about your staff. Go for it. Can you tell me how the staff of one functions? It's, uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. What about the words you speak? They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. I had some questions about your old team. The Runaways? Sure thing. Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods. So we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know... Typical kid stuff. Interesting. Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert? She, uh, she didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents.
Well, that sucks. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. That's crazy. I'm glad to see you're using your free time productively. These grounds haven't okay, changed in hundreds stuff. of years, and yet they always seem different to my tired eyes. What you doing, Charlie? You have not set anything on fire today, have you? Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. To stand still is to move back. You got that one from Agatha. She used to say it all the time. I always preferred if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Used to. I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know. Agatha. She's no longer with us. What? That is impossible. She was so. fierce. indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. You do not have to do this. Thank you. But I do. I haven't spoken to anyone about what happened. And more so than anyone, you deserve to know. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Wanda's powers were so out of control, they cost a life. Your decision may have saved lives, if not the entire Abbey. I like to believe that, especially given her current situation. Ah, <sighs> Wanda. Agatha. It seems we have lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. The Hunter can have found a path of light or dark. Oh, so I just made a dark choice, apparently. Interesting. Early!
droite. Agatha You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> I is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? Wow. She's able to talk to spirits. That's crazy. That's crazy. The heck is that? Heavens. What is it, Charlie? Find something? Okay, it can only be used once, apparently. Touch it, huh? looking portal is known as a blood gate and you're the only one among us who can pass through it blood gate caretakers handiwork yes Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda it's become something of a habit for her I have noticed that what lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her assuming you're up to the challenge that is you know I am I do, but it's always polite to ask. Ominous indeed. Open the way. Recommended level one. <laughs> For level three, we leveled up three times apparently. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah? Caretaker was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. <sighs> trials? I should have known. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> The old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Cool. I act and I received. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, hearts. or at least her idea of one. Cannot possibly match your strength. 
What the heck? I don't even know what Mark did even. of us. abandons you. Take quite a lot of damage. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't they so once again Lilith's servants fall. saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. Magical locks and gates to be open. Still, I like to be wary of this place, but it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves, and if you call upon them. You might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Two, huh? Interesting. 
She believes in our purpose. She does not see it happening. Interesting. So we're gonna open doors now. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah, uh, caretaker, isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Okay. So we unlock that, that's pretty cool. What you doing, Charlie? Oh, he gives him a, a gloss every day, I see. Got 95 gloss. Let's just do two fifties. Or one fifty, my back. In the one thirty five. Please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. Really? <laughs> There's other stuff that I unlocked, but like I don't know about. You know. I don't know. I want to kind of explore. It does not seem right to intrude in their space. Oh, okay. So there's a room. That's a room for some other people. Blade. Iron Man. Marvel. Okay. Strength. Okay. It is one of the elemental rods. Getting everything I can, I see. Who's that? Spider Man? I don't even know. Strange has that symbol. Never mind. I would not like it if they tried that on my room. Uh huh. Let me see. So that's that. The stuff all around. What is this? Breaker of chains. Ah, I see. Didn't we do this one? Did we look at all of these? Curious. Any 
need to figure out how to get arcane keys. Oshter smiles upon me. Wolfsbane, huh? There are cracks in the wall. The gods are fickle. Guess not. Still haven't like did anything with none of these items yet. Hunter's journal. Okay. Arcane level one. Tips and tricks. Intriguing. That is something. Unknown grave. I was always drawn to this place as a child, but somehow I had almost forgotten about it. Interesting. This rubble looks loose. The goddess disagrees. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything else. I already looked at this, right? It did pop up again. That is something. So we got that. We didn't go this way. There's quite a few ways to go. Ever really this innocent? Maybe before I started my training. Okay. I don't even know where, where am I at right now? This 
Alice's witch sign. All is here. This is crazy. A lot of, a lot of stuff you can free roam. I want to see if any of this is gonna help me like be powerful. Cause we we need to be powerful out here. We need to be able Blessings to of the goddess. To use like seven, eight cards, bro in the battle and then end the turn go up here go over here gosh it's a lot of stuff my old fort caretaker was furious when she found I had built this I wonder what she was really afraid of I never got the chance to truly know my mother, only the monster she became. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of stuff to read here. Okay, so that's, that was this way. Let's go up here. The standing stones. There is powerful magic at work here. Don't look like I could do anything interactive with this yet. Which is cool. That's fine. So many things I'm finding. I need to find the next moon seal. Hmm, okay. buried here. Much like Nico, her powers came dangerously close to crossing the line. But she was among the most loyal of the Midnight Suns. Hmm. Okay. Does this stuff even get put on the map? Nope. Perhaps a witch from the Salem Coven made this. Aram Shaw.
Okay, so <laughs> that's over here. Something there weird. Must not be her purview. That's just making sure that didn't work once again. See if there's anywhere else we could go before. That's her. Already went that way. Nothing over here. What the heck is it? Family. <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. That's a dope car. Hmm. Probably Tony's. on sprint Noble Oshtour guides my hand The goddess of order approves. That's a way to go to the right. Yeah, this is gonna be free roam, bro. Just straight free roam. Fortune. That's new. Okay. 
scenic forest. Okay. Wonders journal, huh? Oh, we could fast travel. Okay. We almost there for level two, Arcane. Justice. be it for this area I don't know at the same time I don't want to keep searching because I think I did everything over here that I possibly could do There's a lot of area over here. I could go left, we could see up here. Let me see. Gotta take that. Let's see if we can find something up here, like a fast travel or something. Probably not. Yeah, that's a crack. We already went that way. Yeah, that's the way up, actually. And there's a crack. Hmm. It's just gonna go that way. Practically nothing. There's something to the left, but I don't think I could go that way. Yeah. This ends. Yeah, that ends. Is somewhere over there. Hey, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. Okay. All of these should be on the map. I don't think I can upgrade anything yet. I haven't got any cards. Do your thing. Yet. Any duplicate cards. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate. The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you, I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. 
If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony. And perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage? Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Okay, let's see. We gotta help this dude. We desperately Good need stuff. to get into this crate. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? Uh, no peeking now. If this thing behind me turns into a giant gateway to ancient Egypt, I'm... Take your pick, Hunter. It's right. Whatever artifact is inside, it's better off in our hands. Let me see. He run. He running here. Back again. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. All right then. Okay. Seems like we gotta upgrade that quite a few times before it like actually upgrades. Intriguing. Interesting. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever is in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I would be highly suspicious of anything that Hydra has had in its possession. My advice would be to do what Tony says. Destroy whatever is in there immediately. With all due respect, Hunter, that would be short-sighted and foolish. For one thing, it's very, very hard to dispose of magical items. The repercussions are sometimes... unexpected. Besides, I need all the magical items I can get. And why is that? Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. The only reason I did that, I might as well. I already invite to Haven. Huh? We could do that. The reason I chose dark, I already went with dark earlier. Might as well continue it. Cool. That's cool that do you, you do it with other. Do you find life in the Abbey different than before? Very much so. I've read more since I arrived here than I did in the past five years. 
You are a sorcerer. I thought you loved books. I don't speak of tomes or grimoires, a reading for pleasure, an escape from life's harsh realities and myriad travails. I bet I can guess your preference. Go on. To what genre am I most partial? What? I don't know. I don't want to joke either, man. You enjoy fiction. And what sort of fiction do I prefer? Ooh, plus two. Oh my, this one. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I only pressed that because I, I figured you would not like that. Stories of bleak societies and the people who overthrow them. So much of the oh. world is bleak. Why would I entertain myself with such stories? The question that most intrigues me is, what if so much of reality shifts when you alter certain crucial choices? With effort, I can watch these realities play out, but I find alternate realities far less entertaining than the fictional histories imagined by others. Pretty cool. A joy to spend time with you, Hunter. Eight. Plus five, plus two, one. Nature's poetry is a bird dancing with the wind. That was lovely, Hunter. But we really should get back to stopping the end of the world. Do I even have gifts? Other gifts? Thank you for the quality time, Hunter. It is a treasure to me. Yeah. I don't have no more gifts, so I won't hang out with nobody else. But that's pretty I just cool. Hope you brought me something interesting. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or, perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness, the tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. The place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess, pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. A simple right. object, though certainly not useless. Come an artifact? Research level. Take one day to complete. Like grant powerful rods, like room upgrades. Okay. So this one is craft powerful single use comeback items. Increase ability options around and additional ability when analyzing. Hmm. Do this one. Return to the forest tomorrow morning for the results. Come back tomorrow, Hunter. Pretty interesting. Hey, Hunter. Uh, got a sec to spare? Ghost Rider. You moving to the forge, Hunter? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. 
The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with the spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. <laughs> uh, do I want to keep it to you? I don't even know. It would be my honor to spar with a spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blake to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. I look, his eyes are different colors. That's crazy. Now nah, the dark, the dark, if I kept going with the dark, I'm gonna get like in some negative hearts. I don't even know if you could go into the negative when you don't have no hearts to begin with. Hunter, ready to get your burn on? I'm talking training with Ghost Rider. Spirits of vengeance train the hardest. At least far. <laughs> like playing with fire, huh? Zone and increase, increase friendship and unique rewards. Okay. Maybe you should be the same. complete. Oh, it already, okay, it's an automatic thing, cool. Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission. Got a minute, Hunter? Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble. Apocalypse prophecies, the Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus, the way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb, unbelievable, isn't it? That bomb was clearly meant for me. I am in her debt. Yeah, but I don't think she sees it that way. She just saves people. Amazing. Smart, quick-witted, fearless, hell, she even glows. And do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes. No. Wait, wait. What are you trying to say? Oh, uh, okay. You are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. My apologies. And if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. Yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my stakes or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now. All right, Michael J. White. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. There's no escape for the wicked. Hey, yo, his flames are pretty dope. Look at that. Hunter. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city, but we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let us get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. 
lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied, savior-of-humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. Then I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Ooh. Good to see you, Hunter. I'm almost kidding you. Not much more I can tell you, Hunter. Though I did hear her mutter something about Wanda right before she poofed away. Maybe that helps. Thanks, Captain. I shall find her. Oh man, we gotta go over there, alright. I don't even know where that is at. At this time and moment. Seems like we could talk to everybody. Hey. Have you seen... No. All right. I'm seeing the benefits of sparring. Robbie, have you seen magic? No, but there were some pretty crazy energy flashes coming from the dorms a few minutes ago. It usually means she wants to be left alone. Trust me on that. Thanks, Robbie. on the other side huh okay why hello hunter this room belonged to the scarlet witch did it not wanda it belongs to wanda let me guess you are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for opening their precious portal well i am in the middle of something Come back later. That is no ordinary book. I can sense it from here. Nothing in this place is ever ordinary. Especially this. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. I do not suppose there are any spells in there that will banish Lilith and save the world. Hard to say. These incantations appear to have been written for Wanda alone. Maybe a world without Wanda is one we are not meant to save. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. We will find her. I can feel it. And just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. You expect too much. <sighs> okay. I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. 
Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the Forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. How has she been so difficult? Well met. People are just, they just want to be difficult. Let's go talk to uh, Captain Marvel. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? Mirror table, okay. I'll check that. <laughs> 